Friday, heading into the weekend, and mm -hmm. it's going to be a nice one. Yeah, you know, we'll say nice for this weekend because, because I have nothing oppressively warm to talk <laughs> is about. Is that our barometer now? That's the barometer <laughs> because yeah. you know what? TikTok, July is coming, and it's coming in pretty fast, especially next week. And as it arrives, we're all going to know that it's here. And trust me on that one. I'll show you the numbers in just a moment. Right now, as you're getting the day started for this Friday, a beautiful view of downtown Sacramento. Air quality checks in just fine. If you're heading out for a walk with the dog or just going out to uh, enjoy maybe your coffee or get your coffee before you head to the office, you've got a comfortable start to the day. 59 right now in Sacramento with a light southwest wind. We'll be up to the low 70s by 9 a.m., mid 80s by lunchtime, and it is going to feel noticeably warmer today with highs pushing towards the mid to upper 90s, but again, nothing that's going to be oppressive heat this time around. Here is the view as we check in on Pollock Pines, bright sunshine hitting the pines this morning. We're in the low 60s out the door in the foothills. We'll make our way into the mid 80s by lunchtime with highs pushing in to the low 90s today in spots like Auburn, Sonora and around uh, Jamestown as well. Tahoe Planner, as we enjoy this beautiful view across the Sierra, it's a cool morning. In fact, it's cooler this morning than it was yesterday at this time. We're at 34 checking in at South Lake. We'll be into the upper 70s by lunchtime with highs coasting into the upper 70s to low 80s. In the big view of things, in the grand scheme of things, I should say, this week we've had these passing weather systems to the north. They travel in and they bring us just a little bit of an increase in the delta breeze, and that's helped to keep our temperatures fairly tame for this time of year and at least close to average. But the game is going to change up as we get into next week. So let's look ahead and peel away what we expect to see next week. Keep in mind, average is 92 now for this time of year. We're above that Monday, kicking off a heat wave officially Monday with a forecast high of 100. Now we are looking at a high of 103 by Tuesday impactful weather that will last all the way through the week. So that includes the holiday of Thursday, which is Independence Day, where we could punch up 105 or maybe even a little bit above that. Again, we'll fine tune those details as we get them in. But overall, the pattern as you look at this big area of high pressure just continues expanding and encompassing much of Northern California with it. As it strengthens and just sits over us, the heat just continues. So Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, again, it looks like this heat will be pretty pesky and persistent, unfortunately, kind of like the heat we saw, you know, gather last week over the Midwest and the Northeast. So prepare again for hot conditions starting out in July. The weekend ahead, though, looks pretty nice with those mid to upper 90s.